I just wanted to expand on the pen and node tool videos uh, previously in this section. Um, and I want to have a look at the pen tools, uh, Bezier curve drawing using the pen mode only. And I'll have a little look at things like shortcuts and sharp corners that you can draw as you're using the pen tool. So instead of the motorcycle used in the pen and node tool video, we're going to use this very simple uh, flamingo uh, outline shape. So we'll switch the pen tool on and importantly we'll have the mode set to pen mode and I won't uh, change this mode, we'll just keep in this uh, way of working uh, for the duration of the video. So I come down to this uh, the shape and first of all I want to show you that if I just hold down the left mouse button and then drag I get this pair of control handles now that sets the curvature and the uh, length and the direction of the first segment that I'm going to draw. And that's down to this bill here. So I'm just going to click there and drag, not releasing the mouse button. And now I'm going to use a modifier and that's the Alt modifier. So, that, so press the Alt key. You'll find that I can swing one of the control handles around to a slightly different position. You're effectively making a cusp corner here. And this means if I just release the mouse button, the next click I'll make will be formed according to this control handle position. This effectively clamps the, um, the next curve into a particular shape. So I'll just now drag a little bit. You'll see there that we've got our first curve segment. And I can continue with this um, hold down the mouse button and drag operation until we can formulate the flamingo shape. Now the direction of the drag and the length of the drag will dictate that curvature. So experiment with this until you become familiar. So I'll just come down to here I'll just curve just about there, so I can release here. And now I want to move the cursor along to the, the end of the straight line. And I'll just click, and that creates a perfectly straight line. I can release the control modifier now. So what I want to do is to introduce a sharp corner at this point here, which is constrained to a 45 degree angle. So I can press the Alt key for a cusp corner, plus the Shift key for constraining to 45 degrees. So I'll just do that now, just hover over the node there and just drag outwards and then release the mouse button, keeping the Shift and the Alt key down. I can then release the Shift and Alt key and then drag outwards or down to the right to formulate that final curve. So my simple curve drawing doesn't need to be absolutely precise to the underlying sketch or the trace that we've got there. Um, but what we can do is by pressing the command key, that's control key on Windows, uh, I'll be able to just jump into node editing mode. So it's the same behavior as the node tool and just tweak some of the curvature of the neck and the bill, just so it's a little bit more in tune with the original design if I particularly wanted to. This uh, sharp node down here I can convert to a smooth node and then just straighten up with the shift key press to get a better line. Okay, so let's just terminate this uh, curve so we can draw uh, some final uh, extra lines and we'll just in this case, keeping in the pen mode, um, just click here, and here, and here, and then once more just here with the shift key to constrain to vertical, we complete the 
design. So I just want to show you two new options for the pen tool uh, in Designer 1.7. So with the pen tool enabled, the options are available here in this mode section. So that's first of all, there's add to curves mode and there's rubber band mode. So using the add to curves mode, what you can do is to uh, concatenate um, separate curves into a single poly curve automatically. So I'll just demonstrate that by just doing a paste of this single curve here and I'll just draw two extra curves just quickly. One there and one there. And then you'll see in the layers panel that that curve is uh, a single poly curve made up of the uh, the, the body of the, the flamingo and the two legs. Now compare that to these three layers where the objects are stored separately. And we'll just talk about the final option which is rubber band mode. So when I draw out a pair of control handles like this and then uh, come down to the bill, you see we get this kind of like um, bendy piece of wire which is effectively the um, preview of the next segment to be laid down. So this could be quite useful to uh, not only position your control handles correctly but to go back and edit the control handles so you get more accuracy on your curves. So if I click once, press down the Alt key and drag out to create a sharp corner using this control handle. The next segment I draw will follow that control handle but you'll have a preview of it and you can then adjust your control handle if it's not quite right. 